Hello, welcome to this video. You know, today I wanted to cover just a few extra units that aren't part of any list I normally do, but you might include them just because they're cool, you know? Um, I don't know. There's, there's a couple different ways of going about this. So let's look at the models and we'll talk about the units themselves and what you could do with them. It's entirely up to you whether you would include these or not. Uh, but these are also different models that you can use existing uh, unit entries for. So let's take a look. All right, I got a selection of units here. Uh, obviously, the, you know, there's one lone officer. Well, he's he's going to count as the captain. Okay, the captain. Honestly, I think that's an uh, could be an underappreciated unit. I think he comes into his own most often when you run like a, an anti-tank platoon. Think about this. You have the captain who can snap to three units and you have him within six inches, no sorry, 12 inches of three different anti-tank guns. You activate him and all three can, of those tank guns can shoot at one or multiple targets. Now that could be at the start of the turn three pins on an enemy tank if it isn't destroyed. That can be very useful. And now with any tank platoon, you can add additional infantry in, so you do have some some good support. And if the anti-tank platoon is one of a two two platoon uh, army list, well then your options greatly ex uh, increase. In addition, let's say he's close to your Vickers and your medium artillery. Um, you can snap to both of those units plus a, a, another one that's nearby. And again, if they target the same thing, same tank, that's one plus D3 pins, or D3 plus one pins, assuming they both hit. That can be useful if you act, don't actually penetrate and destroy the tank. So there are some options here. Just, just thinking. So that's the captain. And of course, he can have his, his buddies with him. He is kind of expensive. Uh, yeah, with 110 points, so yeah, that's 20 points more. No, that's 75. I'm looking at regular, so that's 100. That's 35 points more than I think the uh, regular junior officer, the first lieutenant. But still, the idea of you being able to snap to uh, some heavy hitters, uh, it, it's, it's possible. Again, circumstantially, not necessarily across the board, but there's an option. Um, that can also make it easier for you to reach a 1250 or go with more regular troops and have a 1,000 uh, point list. But let's look at a couple of these models. Uh, this is the regular Furgon uh, and this is the 302. Uh, the thing is there's no real entry. It's not, I say, um, oh, sorry, not 302, uh, 508. There's no real entry though, unfortunately, in the game to represent these units uh, specifically. Now, in Germany Strikes, they have the 508 Wazik, but unfortunately, the Wazik is not the same as the just the 308. The Wazik is an off off road jeep, yes, but it's more in the way they've got it there in a recon mode. This is your officer's ride uh, at your company or higher level. So this wouldn't be up there front with the recon recce ability. That that's kind of why I point that out <clears throat> because I really don't know why you would want. Uh, I guess you could if you if you had this with the main machine gun in it. Okay, the pinel mount main machine gun. That makes sense to have that with the Wajik as the uh, recce and all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, but you can use these models and. Instead of being, you know, spending all 30 points for that recce rule and all that, just go ahead and get for only 21 points, nine points less, get the cars or light utility truck. That's exactly what these are. Um, they actually get you, again, three man transport. So this one's a little bit light. I mean, technically, this could carry five men plus a driver, and technically, this can carry four men plus a driver, three men plus a driver. Uh, but they can both suit the uh, cars and light utility trucks just fine. So 
that's an option. And of course, this is a cheap way to add an extra order die and give your officer team, medium machine gun team, motor team, some really good flexibility. Uh, as far as mobility goes, anyway. There are some times that may be handy, other times not. But it's a cheap order die. Let's start with this baby here. Now, this particular model is the 518 Wojcik. This was specifically the vehicle that was used. There's a few, it was used for some officers, but uh, definitely for the medium machine gun teams. This was their ride for the 10th Cavalry Brigade. Again, though, there is nothing in the, uh, the books to cover this, this unit. But again, if you want to use the model, like I've got it, I will use it. I'll, I'll make this a, another utility car. Again, because I, I want to use these differently. I'm going to use this for my officer, um, and I'll use this for a medium machine gun team. But again, that's just a light utility truck for 21 points. Again, nice and, nice and cheap. This is another option. Your ambulance. Now, this is not something that's in uh, uh, the main book, or you're gonna have to go into one of the campaign books to find this particular model, or not, sorry, unit entry. And in the Battleground Europe book, they have the entry for the field ambulance, any army, okay? Essentially, it basically becomes a 50 point medic. Um, the advantage is it can move far. It's only it's killed on a four plus. Oh, sorry, a six plus instead of the four or five plus. Um, it can't transport anything, but it acts just like a medic. Get it within six inches, and you can use the, it, the medic ability. So this is the, a nice addition because the uh, <clears throat> Polish army did not utilize medics as part of the military structure. Instead, they had medical service personnel attached i want to say it's part of the red cross but it uh, not quite but they were attached as an auxiliary or a paramilitary organization so they weren't actually part of the high command of the uh, polish army this is what they drive around in that's the ambulance uh, actually to be honest with you you can also use a a regular uh truck like this you can if you could get one with the uh canvas top, put a uh, red cross on it, you've got a, another Polish uh, legitimate 621 uh, ambulance. Uh, I think they also had ambulances, yeah, the, the uh, half-track version of that, WZ-34, Vizier 34, uh, half-track, again, ambulance on it, and that's a half-tracked uh, non, or soft skin vehicle. But anyway, you know, it's just another option for you uh, to use a particular medical unit. It said you won't have necessarily a, a medic. You could if you wanted, but <clears throat> they're really in the ambulances. They didn't go around with the unit uh, in, into combat. They were more reserve. Uh, but throw an ambulance in there, that's, that's another way to do it. So that pretty much covers all of the different units that I've got in my current collection that we really can utilize in our 10th Cavalry Brigade specifically. There are a lot more Polish units, but we're just trying to talk about the 10th Cavalry Brigade alone to see what we can do with them. Maybe there's some things uh, you might want to add from the regular Polish army into us. That's entirely fine. But right now we're just going to consider the 10th Cavalry Brigade done. Hope this was actually enlightening. Uh, hope maybe inspire you to get started with the 10th Cavalry Brigade. Again, it's up to you. You model what you want, play the game the way you want to, uh, as far as you want with, with, with what armies or what subunits or whether you want to be historically accurate and build the list as I was doing, centered around the actual table of organization equipment, or add to it. Up to you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Share, like, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.